At the end of the trial, each side has the opportunity to summarize their case and their final argument. Here we're going to give you an example of a defense closing from the case of People v. Concha, in which a teenager is accused of murdering her best friend after dealing him a drug known as Adderall. Normally you have nine minutes for both closing and opening, and one minute at the end of closing for the rebuttal. Today you'll be seeing a shortened closing. Grace will deliver a closing that's three minutes for time purposes, but normally closing usually takes around five minutes. We've heard the closing arguments from the prosecution. Is the defense ready to deliver their closing? Yes, Your Honor. You may proceed, Counselor. May it please the court. This case is about the prosecution who did not do their homework. In the very beginning, their investigation of this case was rushed. And just like any other rushed assignment, their case is rife with errors. And foremost, there was no evidence that was brought up in this trial that proved beyond a reasonable doubt that it was my client, Ray Concha, who committed this crime. The prosecution relied on the sole testimony of Alex Weaver completely ignoring the fact that Alex was a student who had been expelled from her last school and was seen flashing around a large wad of dollar bills. They ignored the fact that Alex held a grudge against Miss Conja. Ray was the good girl who volunteered at peer counseling. Ray got the coveted drum solo. Ray wanted Alex out of the band. Make no mistake about this, Your Honor. Alex Weaver was out to get Ray. And it just so happens that the night before Officer Doherty finds a blue backpack of Adderall pills, that Alex Weaver was in the exact same back seat with a similar looking blue backpack. The prosecution is trying to use handshaking as evidence of drug dealing. They're saying that they saw Jason Johnson shake hands with Ray Concha the morning he was killed. But your honor, this is preposterous. Just a few minutes ago, many of us were shaking hands, greeting one another. Does that make us guilty of drug dealing? If the prosecution's theory was correct, then that answer should be yes. If the prosecution's theory is correct, then why isn't Alex Weaver on the trial today? You heard from Avery Perkins, the band director, that Alex Weaver was seen frequently shaking hands with his peers. This is the question that the prosecution completely ignored. This is reasonable doubt. But most importantly, you heard nationally recognized expert, Dr. Burke, testified that it was not Adderall that killed Jason Johnson, but rather his long-term alcohol abuse, which was what caused his cardiac arrest. And not only do we have evidence that alcohol was in fact the cause of death, but moreover, Dr. Sanchez's theory makes absolute no sense. My client, Ray Concha, has a prescription of Adderall for only 20 milligram pills. If the prosecution was correct, and it was Ray Concha who dealt the drugs to Jason Johnson the night of the concert, then that meant Jason Johnson had 60 milligrams of pills. But Your Honor, how is it possible that Jason, a person with severe hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, was able to survive 60 milligrams of Adderall, but died after taking 40? Your Honor, it just doesn't make any sense. In conclusion, at the end of this trial, we ask that you look at this case as an incomplete homework assignment, riddled with too many errors. And we ask respectfully that you do what the prosecution has not, 
which is to take a look at this case and look at the facts and do the homework and find my client, Ray Concha, not guilty on both charges. Thank you. We hope you've enjoyed this informative video of how the closing argument works in a mock trial. Usually, the closer, whoever that is, will have to adjust their closing during the trial based on the facts that actually came forward during the trial that day, not just the facts that were in the casebook. Remember that the closing is the last argument you make before the judge or jury decides the defendant's fate. So make it memorable and dramatic and have fun doing so.